If you can't get help up here, I'm not going to Antarctica. If she <laughs> it's time for love after luck up, baby. Brittany and Marcelino. So it's been a long road, but we're finally here, or so we think. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, she takes up a lot of space. The whole conversation has been about your mom. We don't really have time to talk about us anymore. I'm you see, we knew this moment would come. The moment where Marcelino would say, I've had enough of this. It's been all about Cindy, 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 and it hasn't been enough about them, their relationship, the family that they're trying to build and all that. All the attention has been going to Cindy. And there comes a moment in time, in a relationship, and the dude has been so supportive of all of this, but there comes a point in time where enough is enough and he's had enough of it because his mom was using as well. And I don't know how she got off of that stuff, but I think that was before he met Britney. So she's not had to deal with that. And he's like, look, I'm not bringing this much baggage with me, but she's bringing all this baggage with her, right? So it, he's even a trooper for sticking it out for this long, as he has. We need three kids. It's not like our relationship got put on pause to help, to help you and your mom's relationship. You have to know that I appreciate you. I don't know, really. Well, this is the thing. This is the thing that guys need to hear, especially somebody like Marcelino who's trying so hard. We saw him doing his little salt bay thing. He was cooking up a storm. He was doing whatever. He just said that he's the one, he's stuck raising the three kids, you know, because every now and again, she'll hop in the car, go see what the mom is doing. Go try and find her. Then they have to get somebody to babysit, which is Marcelino's mom to babysit. Why is they going to look for the mom? It's always been mom, 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 mom. And they don't have enough time to converse, to talk about themselves, to talk about the kids, to talk about anything because she's out there running around trying to you know um deal with this mom situation and there's not a lot of guys and not a lot of people who would deal with this for long enough so i'm glad they're having this conversation oh no i appreciate you like i i love you i love my family maybe it's a deeper than that for me maybe you know i wish somebody would have fought for me that way when yep this is the thing that i've been saying like the way she is Treating the mom the way she's helping the mom is what she wished somebody would have done for her when she was in the same predicament. Younger and in my addiction on the street. What do you want me to do? My mom's been showing progress here. Has she? Has she really? Have you guys not been seeing her crying, always looking sad? Just just whilst the whole family is like getting on and having a good time and stuff like that. She's just been in the corner sad and, and just crying all the time. You know, I don't know if they're, they're seeing that or if that's the only thing that they're showing us. Because I'm sure that if this was really happening the entire time, Brittany would have not come to this conclusion. But yeah, she's, she shouldn't have felt... Yeah, well, anyway, I want to say she shouldn't have felt sad at all. But to be honest, Brittany did let her relive all her traumas by taking her on a this is all the bad stuff that happened to you in life tour. So, hmm, can kind of understand why she was upset. But she was upset a lot. So, the progress, I don't know where Brittany is seeing that progress, to be honest. I hope so, Brittany, because I'm not going to be easily fooled. Your mom might be waking up like Mary Poppins every damn morning, but at the same time, you know, she's really good right now because there's no alcohol around. If she That's true. There's no alcohol, so she's she's cool. But once the triggers are around her again, if she ever comes back to Las Vegas again, that is the the city of, of all these things, right? And, and that's definitely not a good place for her. Like I said the last time, it would be best if she does not go back to Las Vegas. She doesn't walk away from this with some type of plan to help herself. I'm done with Cynthia because I don't see where else to go. I'm happy to say he's done with Cynthia, not done with Britney, which is, is good because there would be some guys who would be done with Britney too. If you can't get help up here, I'm not going to Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> this guy really said, <laughs> if she can't get help up here, he's not going to Antarctica. I know that's right. He's been following her down the street. I remember when they were walking with their two dogs and it was past 1 a.m. These people were still walking the street looking for Cindy. Now they packed up all their belongings, packed up everything not all their belongings but packed up some suitcases packed up the kids and it is hard traveling with a kid and young kids adapt they did it packed up three of them and went all the way to alaska this guy said he ain't gonna go where the ice bears are they he's not gonna do none of that to an inpatient and completes her recovery program then she could be a part of our life but if she doesn't mars i'll step away are you sure I have your word on that? I don't 
think we ever get an answer to that. So hmm, that's her mom. She's not going to let her down easily. That's just how these things go. And you're either going to be okay with that or not. It might, this might be a re reoccurring thing. It happens with a lot of families. It just keeps occurring like that till the very end. I never liked what it felt like to be on drugs. And I didn't want to be high, but I didn't know how not to be high or what to do about it. Hi. I love that this guy's, uh, what is it, sweater or whatever says Hope Dealer. That is so cool. And I lived and breathed recovery the same way that I did my addiction. Yeah. So recovery now became her new addiction basically right she replaced the addiction with all the things that come with recovering which is which is the thing the thing that took so much out of her life she took so much of her life she reclaimed her life by completely removing that and replacing it with what was good right this is a, this is very good tips that Brittany is giving here for anybody who has these type of issues right so the thing that was consuming her and consuming her life she just replaced it completely with something that would actually uplift her spirits and actually help her in a positive direction but it takes a while to get there and it's not that easy and it starts all up here and as soon as cindy really gets to that level is a level that you need to reach and not everybody reaches it unfortunately that is why i was able to change because i did it for myself so tell me that's another thing you need to do it for yourself from within yourself and then for yourself and nobody else a bit about more what what's been going on with you Oh, wow. That's like a whole book. Okay. Well, <laughs> give, give me the, the synopsis. I'm always feeling like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. My way of dealing and coping with that was drinking and popping pills. I want my mom off the opioids. I, I don't want my mom to be taking those. We have a very disagreement The here. problem is, I know that there's other things she could be taking for pain management. And the pain is there. Nobody's going to dispute that this woman doesn't have pain. She had the 80 degree burns. Okay. She has a lot to do with, but then the problem is that now it has turned into something that is consuming her life. Like my pills. I'm sorry. But you also said that you feel like you're drowning. That's called cognitive dissonance. That's now, when he came up with this cognitive dissonance, dissonance thing, I was like, oh dear, here he comes with like, kind of like a, you know, psychologist, just shrink or whatever, a therapist, whatever you want to call it. Very much like immediately going into you know this is the term for what you're feeling and it's called this and that sometimes people don't want to necessarily hear that right off right off the gate like oh it's like you're trying to diagnose me i just met you like she's just trying to tell her story so i initially didn't know how wise it was for him to immediately go into that but what she is doing is cognitive dis dissonance it definitely is she is she's definitely um going around in circles saying that she wants one thing but then going around in circles to defend the one thing that she is doing that is preventing her from doing the thing that she wants to do you have conflicting core beliefs and you're you gotta pick one you you can't like your pills but feel like you're drowning and not like your life yep. my body's tired my mind is tired it was the first time she's ever ever admitted out loud to anyone that she does have a pill addiction it's amazing to just see this progress in her I really hope that she makes the right decision because if my mom doesn't do this treatment program, it's going to be the end of our relationship. Is it really? This is up to you, mom. So now they're going. It's six hours before they're leaving. Finally, they're leaving these woods because I feel like they've been in these woods for months. <laughs> but in any case, um, Cindy's like, I'm not going back with you guys to Las Vegas. You know how we went to that um, treatment place? Don't tell me your name is Faye. You're going to stay there? I am. I made a decision to stay there for a few months. Mind blown. I felt like... Everybody's mind is blown. This is amazing. This is incredible. This is great news. And especially because she's doing it from within herself. She is the one doing it. She is the one who wants to change. Nobody said, hey, you need to stay here. It's like, hey, the ball is in your court. But yeah, I was like, okay, you better make this work because they did have a plane ticket for you to go back. Maybe even several plane tickets, I don't know, to get back to Las Vegas. And so if you're not going, this better be worth it because now we're we're losing out on, on you know, that's that's a missed opportunity to, to come back and the plane ticket's going to be for nothing. But if you're going to change, it will be worthwhile. That's only if you're going to change and take this seriously. We'll see. If I went back to Vegas with you tonight, that I wouldn't make it back. It's That's okay with you. Okay with me. It's like the best thing you've ever said to me. I felt your breakthrough, you know, and I saw your progress and it made me want 
to fight harder for you. Um, you are my hero. You are my. This is the cutest thing ever. The fact that she's saying that, oh, that is the cutest thing ever. Brittany has just always stayed calm. She's always just had no judgment because she's lived it she's been through it and even the fact that her mom was not there for her when she needed it she wasn't there when her grandma was was horrible to, towards her she wasn't there when she herself had to be there for her or any of her siblings all the other siblings have bounced but Brittany is still here and it's incredible it is a side to behold support and I'm grateful you stood by me and you didn't give up you know it was hard don't cry and now she's gonna get the most fluffiest hug ever. I'm really excited. Yeah. I can't wait to tell Marcelino. I know. <laughs> Marcelino gonna be real happy. <laughs> So now they're about to go and they're just saying their goodbyes to everybody and stuff, but ooh, Cindy has an announcement. Um, I know we're supposed to be all leaving tonight for Vegas. But um, I'm not going with you. No. I'm staying. Brittany and I went, you know, we went and looked at that place the other day. And I've decided to stay and do the inpatient treatment for a few months. That's great news. That's great news. How much do they know is happy? It happened. I'm hoping to be back home by Christmas at least. But Cynthia completing the program doesn't necessarily mean that I'm ready to allow her back into my children's life. This is just step one for you. Step two, three, and four is living that lifestyle. Brittany was able to reconnect with her family. I was able to spend time with Gil. Successful trip. Don't tell my wife, though. She's had a long road to start her recovery process. Look at your nose. This is just eight weeks ago. I cannot get over that. Is this that poppy stuff? I don't know what diet these people are on. A lot of people are saying, obviously, they're using. That's how, that's the only way you can lose weight like that. And that's just really sad because, A, that is a lot of weight she lost. Doing drugs? I'll do whatever you want, but help me. I have to take pain pills. She abused. This therapist did nothing for them. I don't know. You know what I learned from this? Like sometimes it, when people go to a therapist, if you go to one and they're not doing it for you, it's the same with doctor, dentist, whoever, you are free to go to another person. You are free to do that. It doesn't matter that these people know all your business, in this case with the therapist. It doesn't matter that they know all your business. It doesn't matter. They'll keep that to themselves and even if it came out to the whole world, who cares? Everybody's got things that they're dealing with. Everybody's got things that they're maybe not too proud of in life. Everybody. When I say everybody, I mean everybody, okay? So that doesn't matter. This woman was not doing it for them. And I think in my commentary, I've been saying, mm -mm, this is too, they should uh -uh, let Britney do this part because this woman is not doing it. And maybe she's not doing it for these people. And obviously I wasn't there. I didn't see everything. But, you know, sometimes if a person isn't, you know, they're not, it's just not clicking. That person doesn't seem to be able to get you out of that rut. You need to go to another person expeditiously because there's no time to waste with these things, right? They're trying to heal. They're trying to get better. There is no time to waste. Pain pills. Now that is not true whatsoever. Maybe I want her to be somebody that she's not. I Maybe that's the thing. Maybe she isn't ever going to be that person that Brittany wants her to be. And this is something that we may or may never find out through this show anyway never seen my mom so ready and so willing to help herself. This is a new beginning for my mother. This is a new beginning for us. Bye. <laughs> Marcelino is smiling from ear to ear. The camera is really far, but I could see his smile glistening. He's like, oh yes, we did it. This wasn't for nothing anyway. Hallelujah. I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to get a break. We're going to be able to talk about something else. I'm not going to be in the middle of the night looking for this woman. Oh, yeah. What a relief. I love you. And I was like, oh, so now he's here with his ex and his <laughs> and his ex new wife so that's interesting obviously they don't live in the same place uh i don't know where the step parents live um but yeah she might be staying in that cottage her being all by herself don't know if that's a good thing but she said the people are waiting for her at that center wherever so maybe she's even going there this evening i do not know the sooner the better um yeah 
so that's the end of Britney and Marcelino it was a pleasure meeting y'all um wow 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 now let's see what what the updates are on them right so Marcelino is now a full-time dad I don't know what happened to his poker because he was a full-time poker player but casinos are closed in some places right because of this coral business so i don't know full-time dad and inspired by her mother's journey Brittany is pursuing a career in peer counseling i told i told y'all that Brittany, this was the thing that she needed to do that is definitely the road that she needs to be on because she is amazing with it her soothing and amazing voice her her way to relate to the people because she's been through every everything that you'd need her before this woman has been through okay this is one strong strong boss woman this woman over here honestly and it just shows how you can really turn your life around look at that maybe she's doing her peer counseling through zoom but yeah get the coin sis unfortunately cindy didn't complete rehab and she's back in las vegas so i don't know i would love to say to be continued but i don't know if these people would be back because yeah, I just don't know. It's just it just goes around in circles and in circles and in circles. Back in Las Vegas, I mean, what's what's there for her? It's just all triggers and it's just very upsetting that she didn't complete. Sometimes I just think it's really sad, especially when people seem very willing to actually put in the work and do the work and then it still doesn't work out. It's just the the, the stuff, the stuff, stay away from it. Don't even try it. Even celebrities have done it and it has been their demise. Do not try it. Do not go there. It is not worth it because getting off it is so hard. If people can't even smoke cigarettes and stop within a week or so and be like, nah, I'm not going to do this. Then these things are 50,000 times stronger than, than cigarettes. People are always saying, oh, I can stop. People are pregnant and they're smoking. They're like, ah, oh, but if I wanted to, I could stop. But they don't stop because they're addicted. They can't stop. So just stay away altogether so that you don't have to stop. And that's it for these people wow so we've learned a lot we've learned that you know you never have to judge people just because she's an ex inmate doesn't mean that she's a terrible terrible person doesn't mean that people cannot turn their life around doesn't mean that people can't go on to be successful in this life i also do really really hope that she gets to see her two children that she gave up for adoption i really hope that one day she gets to see them because i don't know if they know that it's her i hope that they maybe see the show and see how she's changed that she has three other children I and mean, after all if she can have three very young children she's safe safe enough to be around her grown these other kids will be like teenagers or something like that. She had them when she was really, really young. She had them when she was like 12 or so. She'd be like, eh, 12? She was very young. She was like a teen. So she she would have been like, what, maybe maybe she was 14? Somewhere thereabouts. Her kids will be teenagers by now anyway. So I'm sure she can deal with them now. It's not like they should live in her house or anything. But you know, she would just like to see them and be in contact with them. I hope, I hope, I hope and pray that this really happens for this woman. She's deserved it. You know, she's just a good, 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 good person. She's done more than a lot of people would do. Uh, a lot of patience and yeah, everybody needs somebody like that in their life who's like always gonna ride for them, like till the bitter end. Wonder how she'll deal with the mom coming back to Las Vegas. I hope she's not doing all this wild stuff anymore or sleeping in motels and all this type of stuff. I hope that at least if she comes back, she's coming back to do good things and move on to bigger and better things. I hope that for them. In any case, um, I don't really do love after lock up over here. I have hundreds of videos on other topics as well. Anything pertaining to life, I'm on it. I'm your girl and I got something to say, okay? So I have various playlists. Yeah, just go around, browse and uh, cruise around and see what's there. And um, yeah. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bomb thumb as on the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to step what? Let me try it. God bless.